Jenny, we're in June 2016 right now, and times are tough since the mm -hmm. war started. Mm -hmm. and my dawn, right? January 2013? Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's a time of war uh, over in Donetsk and uh, on the eastern border to Russia. Um, yeah. But the war is just, is just segmented over there. The rest of Ukraine is not at war, right? The Western world thinks, oh, yeah. the country's at war, but it's no, not. No, no, we're sitting here. <laughs> we're sitting here in Sumy, Ukraine, yeah. and everything's good. Everything's good in Kiev and Kharkov and everywhere yeah. else in Ukraine except mm -hmm. for the Donetsk region, yes. right? Yes, yes. Um, maybe paint a picture for what is life in the Ukraine like in, in time, in this time of economic uh, uncertainty with the war going on right now. What is the economic situation for the average Ukrainian mm -hmm. person? How much money they make and what is life like, if you could tell me? Uh, I think it's a very diff difficult times uh, for Ukraine and uh, what I saw in Sumy that um, money, what people have uh, for the months um, from their work, mm -hmm. uh, it's very little money, like 2,000 uh, grievances per month. And it's 25 to 1 to the USD right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they need to uh, have uh, gardens with, um, like to grow uh, vegetables, uh, to have their own food. It's more cheap, cheaper way. Mm -hmm. So most people have gardens in the Ukraine, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they don't yeah. have to buy Very big produce. gardens and it's hard uh -huh. to carry about it. Uh -huh. People are very tired about mm -hmm. A lot it. of work. Yeah. And, and so what is the average salary? 2,000 uh, grivna per month is about the average salary in Sumi? Mm, okay. Yes. And what does like a doctor, this. say a doctor or a lawyer, make per month? Um, I have friends, doctors, and uh, I heard that um, it's um, not a big difference for, uh, from 2000. So a little bit more than 2000? A little bit a more, maybe three, but not more. Between two and three. Wow, so, so even, even uh, an education that takes you seven years to get, you don't make much more money. Yeah, sometimes your education means nothing. Here. Which is interesting because that's what it was like in communist times, right? In communism, everybody made the same money, everybody had the same life. And so that's kind of the same in that respect, economically. Maybe the same, but it's very hard to, like, even if doctors <laughs> have, uh, have their, some money and, and other people um, have um, less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do people, how do people survive? They make gardens and so they don't have to buy produce. Uh, families live together, they stick mm -hmm. together too, right? Yeah, yeah. During tough times? They, they trying to not spend a lot of money for what they want, mm -hmm. just to try to live, to have food like this. You know, so with, with times being so tough, um, you know, one of the fears of the Western man is, <laughs> that the, the, the woman is just looking to get out of the Ukraine. So she'll latch on to any guy to get out of the Ukraine for a better life. Mm -hmm. Maybe a passport. Um, what are your thoughts? Like how, how many women are like that, just want to get out of the Ukraine? You know, and would marry a Western man for the wrong reasons? A little bit? Is it a lot? What do you a think? lot. A lot? Yeah, a lot. So you have to be very careful of that. Careful, yeah. You need to know a um, person inside. And of course, uh, it's a temptation when you uh, see some uh, man with money, uh, even if you are a good person and you want to have a good family, uh, you, in any way, you will think about money. But um, I believe that foreign men can find a good woman even if she think about money, but uh, desire to have good family will be more inside her. Mm -hmm. More and important he, than money. Yeah, yeah, and he need to see this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.